Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Chapel. Today is a great day because we are here to hear God's word and sing his praise. This morning, we're going to have our uh, special, me special message come from no one other than Mrs. Wagner. You will hear from her later. But what better way to begin our day than praising the Lord with a spelling test. This song. Will you please stand up? separates us from God and, and there is nothing we can do to earn the, our salvation. shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Through Christ, sin and death has been defeated. Our sins have forgiven our, and we are forgiven new life to live forever. You may have a seat. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me in, oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun? Oh, 
preschoolers some waves. So if you'd like to wave this morning, here I am. Awesome. I've got a picture to start off our message today. And there should be lots of really cool things that God made. I figured what better way to talk about being rooted than to start at the very beginning with creation because that's where our relationship with God all starts. God made everything. So raise a quiet hand if you would like to share something that you know that God has made. Yes. God made all of us, each one of us in this room. What else? He made the ocean. What else did God make? Did he make everything? Awesome. What else did God make? He made the animals. He made plants. What else did God make? He made dinosaurs. He made the sky. Land. Yes, God made all the land. What else, Kingston? What else did God make? He made elephants, red pandas, the trees, the sun, the trees. He made elephants, all kinds of cool things. What else did God make? He made wood and metal, great supplies for building. Awesome. I'm going to let everyone else, if you had something to say, go ahead and tell me in three, two, one. Awesome. You are all right. God made absolutely everything. And this picture is a great example. It shows the animals in the sky and the tree. And there are two people under the tree. God made a man. And called him Adam. And God made a woman and called her Eve. And they were the very first people that God created. Of all of God's creation, God enjoyed his creation of people the most. Because when he created man and woman, he gave them dominion and rule and power over the plants and the animals and the trees. He gave them, he gave us all of those things. So we're going to look at two verses about creation, and we're going to see how those can affect us in our relationship with Christ and how they're a great reminder that we can be rooted because 
We were created in God's image. And so this verse comes from Genesis 1, 27, and it says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. On the sixth day, God had made the animals and Adam, and he created them in his very own image. So when we think about being rooted in Christ, we might think about maybe the things and the actions that we can do, but really, there's nothing we need to do to start those roots. God started them when he created us because he made us in his very own image. And the next verse we have up here also comes from Genesis in the second chapter. And it says, Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living creature. So we were made in the image of God. And the very first man, Adam, took his first breath. Who gave him that first breath? Yeah, God did. God breathed into Adam. So we know that those roots that we're growing, rooted in Christ, drawing closer to Jesus, it all started with God when he created us. He made us in his image, and he gave man the very first breath. He wanted that breath to come from him. Everything comes from God. So if we look at our next slide, we know that we have a purpose. And God has given us all different kinds of talents and things that we're good at. He's given us different friends and people in our life to be connected with. But he's created us all in his image. And he gave us his very own breath so that we can go out and bring more people closer to him. It says God created you on purpose. He wanted you to be here. With purpose, he's given you a special job with many talents to do for a purpose, to go and share his word and strengthen your roots, on purpose to be who God created you to be. He made everything, and he took special care when he made you, so he's going to take special care of you as you continue to stay rooted in him. Which brings us to our last slide, our school theme this year, Rooted in Christ. We can do lots of things, like staying in his word, which draws us closer to him, Praying, talking to him, and finding those quiet times to listen to what he has to tell us. Fellowshipping with our neighbors and our friends in our school like we're doing right now, coming together to praise him. And then looking back at the story of creation and being reminded that from the very beginning of time, our relationship with God started because he made us. He made us in his likeness. He gave us his very breath when he created us. And he wants to have a relationship with us by sending his son Jesus to die for our sins, that we can be reminded of his love and continue to grow in him. So when you're thinking about being rooted in Christ this week, and it might be hard to think of all the different directions that idea can go, I'd like for you to stop and remember that he made you, so he wants to have that relationship with you. And in his likeness, you are able to draw closer to him. So will you pray with me? We're going to fold our hands. Awesome. Can you pray this prayer? Say, Dear God, thank you for creating me in your image. Thank you for breathing life into us and sending your son to die for us. Help us to remember to draw close to you in all circumstances. In Jesus' name, name. amen. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Wagner, for sharing that message with us. At this point in time, we are going to collect our offering. We are in a new month. We are in September. That means we have a new offering recipient. This month, our offering recipient is someone who is telling people about Jesus over on the other side of the world in India. Her name is Kinsley Werner. Does anybody know anyone else who has the last name Werner? Oh, wow, a lot of people do. Who, has, who else has a last name of Werner, Adeline? Miss Werner. Miss Werner, do you 
No, Kinsley Werner? Yes. How do you know Kinsley Werner? She, Kinsley is Miss Werner's niece. So Miss Werner's brother has a daughter and her name is Kinsley and she is going to uh, India. She is in India sharing the love of Jesus with other people. And I bet Miss Werner could probably share more information on many other days of the school year. But for today, we are gathering our offering to go and support her, Kinsley. So, acolytes and ushers, will you please go up, get the plates? And while the offering is being collected, we are going to sing. for the creed and prayers. I believe in God the Father. I believe. I believe in God the Father. Father, through holy baptism, you, you called us to be your own possession. Grant that our lives may show, may show the workings of your Holy Spirit in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That as we are built up by, by your Spirit, we, we may proclaim the faith. Remember? 
us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, Thank you, my Heavenly Father. Christ rule in our hearts and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of Jesus of the Lord Jesus. May God the Father, the Son, Spirit, bless our days in his peace. You may have a seat. That's pretty cool. Our offerings are going to Miss Warner's niece, who's a missionary. Um, a lot of times when I was your age, I thought the only way to serve God was if I was a missionary or a pastor. But if you look around, there are lots of ways to serve God. Obviously, all of your teachers are serving God every single day. We have people in the back, and Wyatt, and our acolytes and ushers are all serving God by helping in the church. But your parents and their jobs can serve God too, whether they're an electrician or a plumber or whatever they're doing, they can still do it all for the glory of God. And so it doesn't matter what you do, you can still be serving God as long as you're intentional to do so. Um, I have three announcements, and then we have a couple students who are caught uh, showing actions indicative of one rooted in Christ. Uh, first thing, Friday. There are two little, big, kind of big things going on Friday. Do you guys know what's going on Friday? Blaze, you know what's going on Friday? Just stretching. You know what's going on Friday? Just stretching, just stretching. Kelsey, do you know? It's picture day. So look your best. Friday, it's picture day. And then there's one other thing. I don't know if anybody knows this one. I know Mrs. Colbaum knows this one. Mrs. Colbaum, do you want to yell this one? Do you know this? National Read a Book Day. Woo! It is National Read a Book Day. So make sure you have a book with you on Friday. If you don't have a book, you should have a book every single day anyway. But it's National Read a Book Day on Friday. So make sure you have a book. Bring one from home or check one out in the library. You need to have one. Otherwise, students who are caught with actions indicative of someone rooted in Christ. Journey O'Connor, please come up for letting a friend use her crayons. Sierra Anderson for helping a friend pick up crayons. Matthias Spulock for getting off the swing the first time he was asked. Theo Kolbaum for cleaning up a mess somebody else made and doing so without being asked. Hunter Anderson for helping Miss K when things were chaotic. Oliver Spulock for helping a friend and Mrs. Roggy clean up a spill. Savannah Anderson for helping clean up a spill. Lots of messes coming. Eliza Whitney for helping clean up a spill. And Tori Wolken for airing up balls for recess. All right, these are our students. We're caught showing how they're rooted in Christ. Help me thank these students. S T. You guys can have a seat. Good job. I think that's all the announcements we have. Can we please have our acolytes and ushers come on up? 